we are here at the Sandy Cape Recreation Park. It's Valentine's Day! Valentine's Day and Laura's two on the dump point. Here we are. Here we are. It's been a while since we've actually been on the camera. Shit, I don't even remember the last time. Yeah, because uh, mm. we've been Margaret River, Bustleton area, catching up with family, and it's been so relaxing and really hot. Oh, that's right, when we got kicked out of the caravan park. <laughs> yeah, you'll see that. <laughs> so here we are, Durian Bay, Sandy Cape, mm. just outside of Durian Bay, Sandy Cape. Uh, Harrison's had his first day of school today. How was that, mate? What did you do? Um, so I had to work on some, because can't do cooking classes when I'm away, so my teacher got me to do some uh, the, uh, other homework, working on, like, trying to save wasteful food, stuff like that. And now I have to watch Jaws and analyse it and work on, like, film techniques and stuff like that. For your, what? What subject? Uh, that? For a subject called Be a Filmmaker, which is like teaches you film techniques, editing, editing styles, different size shots, and um, best shots for filming two people. And yeah, so it's pretty interesting. Yeah, two subjects Harrison did today. Pretty simple stuff. Um, he he'll obviously get some more complicated things along yeah, the way. But yeah. All good. So. We're bunked up here. It was a bit windy when we first pulled up, and now it is pretty spectacular. Mickey Mouse. There you go on there, Ive. <laughs> living the dream, baby. He's, buy li a new hat. <laughs> He's living the dream. He had to buy a new hat. We got um, Dad a an Akuba for for Christmas. We left it in his car. That's what he does. Melbourne Airport. Yeah. So tonight's dinner: tacos. Pretty simple. Uh, we had a bit, uh, probably a six hour drive. Yeah. And it was fa fairly hot too, it was about 30. There was a lot of traffic through Perth. Yeah. Six, about a six hour drive, got here. Um, we actually met up with a couple of followers that um, ran into us, so they were really nice to, to have a chat to. Set up camp, just had a quick look out at the beach. Um, it looks pretty nice. It's going to be, if there's no wind tomorrow, it'll be perfect. So tonight's quick and easy tacos, and then we're going to hit the hay. Because we're all pretty stuffed, yeah. aren't we? Hey, can I just interrupt this box, <laughs> right? We get so many questions about this sandwich box, which we came up with. And we also have a treat box, I'll show you that in a minute. This is a godsend when you're traveling on the road. And you know what? It probably helps a lot of people at home when they're making sandwiches for their kids for school. Cheese, salami, ham, chicken loaf, tomato, all ready to go, lettuce. So this box is actually from Bunnings. It's just like a nuts and bolts type of container. So just go to Bunnings, go to your storage aisle. There's lots of different ones there. This is the one we got for the sandwiches, but I need that cheese for tonight's dinner. The other one is up here. It needs to be restocked, actually. We've been eating too much. Treats. So, so this one's for the car, normally. Um, as you can see, marshmallows. We had all snakes, chocolates. Um, we had, like, gummy bears in there. What I would recommend... You want one, don't you, H? <laughs> dinner first. Yeah. What I recommend is don't put chocolate in there because chocolate just melts. Don't take chocolate on tour unless it's in the fridge. But yeah, go to Bunnings. Simple and as that. <clears throat> we've got plenty of power, so that's why we leave the fridge open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get dinner on the go, mate. You gonna give me a hand? Yep.
protecting the uh, the beach cart. Just giving it some shade. <laughs> anyway, we are here at the Sandy Cape Recreation Park. It's stunning. So it's just north of Durian Bay uh, on the west coast of WA. And there's this beautiful bay here, which we're going to go and snorkel at. Down this end is a bit weedy, but then it just clears up nicely. I try, oh, there goes the umbrella. I don't know how long that's going to last for. We've all got our flippers and snorkel masks, so we're going to get out there. Saving on electricity? Saving on Battery. gas, saving on electricity, saving on the works. You get this... Neapolitan. I've, I've got a Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream. Pretty good facilities here. We've got the barbecue happening. Torts are amazing. Uh, Laura will show you those later. Uh, the range is just behind us, so they keep this all in order. And there's a couple of... <clears throat> cold showers here so you can rinse off after you go to the beach mm. which is handy I've been trying to clean this one but someone left it like filthy so I've tro been trying to clean it but because it's been stuck on there for so long it's a bit of a, a bit of a mission impossible date on this and when they put this up. Yeah. Oi, you'll see goodbye. It's very windy today. It's the sand's blowing everywhere, the dust is blowing everywhere. Sausages. Oh, Bloody Good beauty job. text. Sounds like a plane. stealth mode so there's a poor little seagull out there he's got fishing line wrapped around his foot so I've set up the old washing basket with a bit of biscuit in there we've got Coco's dog lead <laughs> bang the hammer on top holds the thing down we go there tackle the bird take off the line set it free that's the plan what's the hammer for Shh, he's coming puts weight on top of the basket. That's not even the bird. You've got to get the right seagull. Oh, 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 man oh, down. Jesus Christ. No one told me about the How wind. How embarrassing. You stick a little bit wrong, Bobby. No, it's fine. It's just the wind. Do you want to get more Savoy's? Uh, He's hanging out with a magpie over there. If we catch one, we know it's going to work. Yeah. 
like it, we've got six boxes of Savoys. <laughs> King Billy brought six boxes of Savoys because you can't get them here in um, in Western Australia. It's oh. called Ritz or something. They're no, they're not the same. Yeah. You know what people are going to bring to our next meet and greet? Yeah. Boxes of Savoys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, puppies. Oh. Bloody wind. What's Daddy doing? What's he doing? It's a little bucket. Oh, now he's putting a towel over it. Oh my god. Okay, this is where you pull up for the Sandy Cape campgrounds. Sorry about that, son. You can pay for your camp permit here, but I'd strongly suggest just drive in there first, get your camp spot. There's a ranger in there as well. When they're there, they've got FPOS you can pay by there. It's um, $20 a night. If you've got an additional adult like we do, it's an extra $10, so $30 a night for us, or additional children. So it's usually two adults, two children. There's an extra $5. Um, <clears throat> so not, not bad going. Look, it does get a bit dusty down there with the wind, um, but there's so many spots, so many really good spots. Actually, we're on the south side, on the north side is even better. It's got barbecues if you would have seen. Um, yeah, dog friendly. The toilets and the amenities are immaculate. Really good. Uh, the only thing I'd say is they do have showers there, but they're actually closed at the moment due to water restrictions. So I'm not sure when they'll be open, but um, if they had showers there, it'd be even better. Laura's doing the dump point behind us, and we've only got a two and a half hour drive at the moment, don't we? Yeah. Where are we up to? Coronation Beach. Coronation Beach. So, two and a half hours from here. We're up bright and early, 7 a.m., and we're going to try to get a really good spot over there. And hopefully, this wind dies down. Well, yeah, Sorry, Dal. The reason we're leaving early? To get a spot. It's going to be 43 degrees. Oh yeah, it's going to be a scorcher today. Yeah, so that sun is already beaming down. All right, let's get into it. What day is it? Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day and Laura's doing the dump point. That's true love right there. set up Coronation Bay beautiful camp spot just here nice little a uh, little bit off the beach but that's okay we're out of the wind um, at the front it says <clears throat> there's a couple of signs one that says ten dollars per person well it's been scrubbed out then the um money side of it the other says uh, ten dollars per night and pay before you drive in the downside to that is you could drive in, the whole place could be full of people and you've already dropped your money in the box. So we always drive in first, find a camp spot and then pay, pay then. Because, um, yeah, it gets quite busy. Well, there mightn't be a site that actually suits what you're looking for or whatever. So anyway, this is it. It's got a beautiful lookout up here.
that you can actually stay for 30 nights. That's outrageous. The beach looks immaculate. It's got a little um, playground here too for the kids. Have a look at this. Oh, they do surfing lessons here. Oh, kite, kite lessons. That's cool. Look at this. <laughs> this is magic. That's the food van there. It's got some barbecues. <clears throat> it's well set up. You can have a shower in there. You just got to provide your own water. Similar over here, there's little shacks. Now this park is also easily accessible if you're in a wheelchair or you're disabled of any, any kind. You'll easily get in here and also um, two-wheel drive friendly. There it is. Actually smells quite nice, which is rare to say in, um, with toilets. But yeah, two-wheel drive in here, no problem at all. Unless you want to go out onto the beach, then you'll need a four-wheel drive, but otherwise, very accessible. Got the four-wheel drive ready? Yep. How cool is this setup? Oh, the Kiwi. She's hot. How hot is it, darling? 44 degrees. You look extremely hot. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because it's Valentine's Day either. How about you, King? I'm cool as You know what? King doesn't want to put sunscreen on. Or oh, oh, King doesn't want to put the sunscreen on. So happy Valentine's Day to all those <laughs> wonderful women out there in everyone's lives. And men. And men. It's Valentine's Day for everyone. For every good. Well done, darling. I got Laura a beautiful um, little caramel <laughs> slice this morning. <laughs> the only downside is that Dad actually paid for it. <laughs> Didn't you, King? Ah, oh, well. Them's are the breaks. That's it. And I got up at 5.30 and made your coffee. Yeah, good girl. Oh, yeah. What'd you do, Key? Oh, I'm poor just... thing. You need the water. Yeah. All right, we're going to go for a swim. It's stinking hot. Setting up at Gladstone Bay, we've left left Coronation Bay Beach. Beach. This place is stunning, but uh, I just want to show you a quick uh, thing about the pegs that we take. Have a combination of all types of pegs, sand pegs, um, steel straight heavy duty pegs, and then also a couple of these pegs here, which you can you should drill and drill them straight in but like on this occasion this ground is like concrete right. i've tried to screw these pegs in and okay. it's already bent them so what i've got is this drill bit we pre-drill it Drilling for oil, baby. Drilling for oil. Right. 
it with us. Everyone says Coco's good. She's just getting told off by Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that up. Yeah. Coco. Coco, come here. Here. You won't listen to Mum. That's what happens. Tonight, tonight we're just scrapping together what we've got and uh, Laura's done a fantastic job and we've got pizzas on the go. Happy with that? Look at that. That's plenty of chili. Yeah. We've got some bacon, some salami. We've run out of cheese so Harrison's going to have just your normal flat cheese and I'm going to cook these in the barbecue. So, yeah, we got here. What time did we get here? Five? Five thirty. Yeah, five thirty. Quickly set up. It was still about thirty, thirty odd degrees, um, and it was quite hot. Went for a fish, as as you would have just seen, with the drone footage, and out here now I'm in the pitch black. So we don't really want to attract any mozzies. So I've got the barbecue going. That's cranking. And these pizzas are going to be Mickey Mouse. But all just been sitting here, and I'll show you tomorrow. But we've been sitting out here, just looking over the water. It's just stunning. It's just such a nice spot. Washing's done. Laura's uploading the facts and figures for tomorrow night. And then uh, tomorrow we're we're off again, aren't we? Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna head into Carnarvon. Can I have an ice cream? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and I really want to go to the Space Museum and I really want to take Harrison there. I think, I actually think it would be cool as a family to do. <laughs> uh, and then we might, we can stay there or we can just head north and just find another camp. That's the... The beauty, the beauty. of uh, travelling. Yeah. What we want to do is be at South Lafroy in Ningaloo Station on... Saturday some stage yep. so the more traveling we can do between now and then makes that time shorter and more time on the water I washed my hair tonight and I, I got the minuscule amount of water that's left in the tank or that was pumping through the tank so I'm still pumping water from the back tank to the front tank don't ask we've still got these issues don't, don't ask it's just yeah it's oh, I'm gonna get to you the end what? of it I've just People always say you'll run out of water before you run out of power, and they're 110% correct. Yeah. Right. I mean, we got the water, we just can't get it up. Some people have those problems. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, King Billy's out here doing his best to just sneeze down the campsite. Well, I'm sorry about that. What are you up to, King? Well, it's still pumping, but I don't know whether it's up or you which, which is the inlet and which is the outlet. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to worry about those technical well, issues because I've. I saw it. Listen to what I'm telling you. Yeah? 
one can see it. Yeah. And this side there's nothing. No. Right? Yeah. So okay. well we don't have to worry too much about that. Let's go around the other side and have a look. We've got King Billy on the job. Uh, What's going on there, Sniffles? Well, I don't think it's working very well, but anyway. I've got it going again, but did you? Yeah, but pull it out again. It might be just we might be running out. You, have you been sucking on the end oh, of that? Oh yeah, I did. That's a bit rough. Well, Hang on, I've got a feel if it's coming out. It's working. Mm -hmm. It's working. It's just slow. Because it's got to go uphill. Mm. <sighs> it's going to be the end of me, this bloody this water is tank. A, I'll tell you what, this is a real Mickey Mouse operation. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we roll, King. Uh, you wouldn't be dead for quids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, give you the camera back. Check Don't leave you any more of my BS. All right. Number one rule when you're trying to cook pizza: don't have too many jobs on the go. Mm. This one garlic pizza. Let's see what was yours too, sweetheart. Yeah. Anyway, right. I'm, I'm right now because mine well, should be fine. <laughs> No. Bugger rising around with that water tank issue again. It keeps biting me in the ass because I've got halfway through it. Laura checked the pizza and she said it was fine. Literally within, what was it? A minute, two minutes. I come, yeah, I come back and it was burnt. But never mind. Cut those edges off. Worst case scenario. Bake it of beans. That's breakfast. I'm getting out breakfast tomorrow, oh, darling. Don't touch everything. Oh, caramel. Oh, yeah. It's a bit windy. Oh, God. has just completely annihilated us it's turned around it was so calm before don't even like navigator straps nothing nothing helps I don't know where that came from <laughs> just come out of nowhere your dad's gone to look for his pillow 
Yeah. That was just out of control. Yeah, just pack this up. So imagine that, that happening at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Western Australia, you can't leave your awning out. Jeez, I wonder where Papa's pillow's gone. It's probably halfway down the beach by now. It probably is. That was unbelievable. Well, it was that strong. This, this pulled directly out of the awning. This part here just pulled straight out of the awning and then it took off, didn't it, Dal? Got the pillow. <laughs> How far did it go? Oh, over there behind them bloody bushes. Right over there. Around the corner. <laughs> like it didn't end up in the water. Yeah. And how funny how calm is it now? Oh, that yeah. literally that was that was a minute of anarchy <laughs> and then it just now it stopped and we've had to pack everything out. That was crazy. <laughs> Are you going to sleep inside or outside, Bill? No, I'll still sleep out here. You'll get wet. Oh shit, it ain't going to rain. It's spitting now. As he says, he Where's my chair? I, I packed it up, babe. Oh, jeez, you're, you're efficient. More well, shut up shop. Well, we almost had a problem like Melbourne. No. It's a bit of an eerie morning this morning. It's dead calm, no wind, nothing like last night, what you saw with our awning nearly taking off to bloody China. But anyway, it's overcast, it's muggy, we're going to head, head to Carnarvon. Oh, the reason we're up early is because it started raining and Bill, poor Bill was sleeping outside without the swag. <laughs> that was his choice, by the way, before we get crucified. He's like, nah, nah, I'll stay outside. It was like 30 degrees all night, it's so hot. <sighs> How are the toilets done? They're actually good, flush, flushable toilets. Are they flushing? Yeah, nice and clean. Oh. Got your dump point over here, <clears throat> your hand is basin. That, is that, that not good water? No, that's, that water would be from the tank to say. That's a Pardon. shower. It says, taking toilet paper is stealing. Fair enough. Okay, push once, oh yeah. But leaving your rubbish is lazy. Am I allowed to come in? Yeah. Are you decent? This is this is next level oh my God. bush shower. <laughs> wow. Have a look at it. Even you can do a better job at the farm. <laughs> the old tin can. I like it. Here you go, look. How's the water? Oh my god. I might have a shower. Come on. I've got to get my towel. And you got a light, a solar powered light. Pension holders, ten dollars. So that's twenty-three and children five dollars. So that's twenty-eight dollars. <laughs> yeah, big deal. Oh, book swap. Fishing. There you go, darling. Something to read in the Oh, it's a book. I probably know. Probably the know voice, it all. Probably hey, know it all. The voice of Western Australian fishing. I think you should take it. <laughs> and then over here they got a mini golf with oh, the clubs and the basketball hoop. And another shower by the looks of it. We never played mini golf. Plenty of camping spots over here. <laughs> Then Coco runs and puts her paws through it. Watch me get a hole in one. Oh! <laughs> oh, you got it! Shit out of it. She wants the ball. She can yeah, smell it. She can smell it. Oh. oh, oh, that was close. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. Yeah. Number one 
own hack, take your own bath mat. <laughs> Where'd you learn that, Sal? Yeah. Here you go. Enjoy. Remember, no King George whiting on the camera. <laughs> no sand whiting. <laughs> Let's try out these showers. Because it's, it's so sticky and muggy, and we've literally just run out of water, this is going to feel like the bomb. Nothing better than an outdoor shower. Whoever built these showers, you're a bloody genius. Seriously. That is so good. <clears throat> and on hot days, on hot days, that water is obviously going to be really hot because there's signs up saying caution, hot water. So the pipes, pipes obviously get really warm, these black pipes, and um, they get uh, very hot, so you have hot water. But that was so refreshing. Food, some beer. Just all the usuals. Just the usual stuff. Power. Power. 